Hello, it's Miranda and I am Mother Elephant. Today, let's learn foundation double crochets. Here we have your chart symbol. It's a little loop with a double crochet um, emerging out of it. Your pattern is going to say FDC for foundation double crochet. What you're going to see is at the bottom of your pattern a bunch of these little loops linked up with double crochets coming out of the little loops. That is the indicator your pattern wants you to start with a foundation not of chains but of foundation double crochets. Basically the times that you're going to use these are when you need your foundation to stretch very evenly. It needs some um, even ease, basically. So let's go to the chart so that we can see when we would be asked to use this stitch. Here we have a chart pictured where they are requesting we start with a foundation double crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, there are some symbols up top with some hooks at the bottom. Um, we haven't learned that stitch yet. I think they're talking about front post, back post double crochets. We'll learn that later. Right now, we're just focusing on the foundation double crochets. So let's go to the yarn and see what it works up like. To make our foundation double crochets, I'm going to start with a slip knot. That means loop loop over my finger, pull this back yarn forward to create an X, and then I'm going to pull this part of the yarn up and over off the end of my finger. And then you tighten down, and that gets you your slip knot. Now, I'm going to be using some loose tension, and we're just practicing. So remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, we're just learning a new skill. So, I'm going to chain two. One, two, and we have a front loop and a back loop of our stitches, and then there's an underside along that back ridge. That's where I'm going to be crocheting to start my foundation double crochets. So here's this first chain and the second chain. Into the first chain I am going to yarn over, insert my hook into that first chain. I have three loops on my hook. Don't get ahead of yourself here, this is where it gets different. We're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and this is going to be the bottom of the first double crochet we're going to create. So instead of a chain, 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 and then double crocheting into all the chains, we're creating a foundation of double crochet stitches. So this is gonna be the bottom of the stitch. So what we have to do is we have to yarn over, pull through this first loop that we've created, and now this are, these are the three loops on your hook for your double crochet. So it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Don't give up on me. Give, me. give me two more stitches before you click away. This is the first foundation double crochet. Here is the bottom of the stitch, these two loops, and then this is the double crochet we built out of the bottom of that stitch. So to create another foundation double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the bottom of that stitch, pull up one loop, you're creating the bottom of your next double crochet. Yarn over, pull through one loop, and now make your double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Give me one more stitch, one more. So here is the bottom this V right here is the bottom of that stitch. Here's the double crochet coming out of it. Yarn over, insert your hook into the bottom of that stitch, 
pull up a loop it's going to be the bottom of your next stitch yarn over pull through one three loops on your hook and then make your double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over yarn over pull through two this is a foundation double crochet beginning we're not making the chains and then building double crochets we're building double crochets as we go along and so all you have to do the only addition is finding the bottom of the stitches and creating you have to you have to build from the bottom up you have to create the bottom of your stitches first so you yarn over insert your hook into the bottom of that last stitch pull up a loop make your bottom yarn over pull through one and then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two what is the benefit why are we learning this this seems like extra steps why would i need to learn this it's because for necklines basically the only use i've ever found for them is for necklines when you're making garments the neckline has to stretch crazy especially if you have a wonderful beautiful awesome son with a great big old melon hand he needs <laughs> his christmas sweater needs to be able to stretch to get over his head if you've ever tried to make somebody a sweater and the neckline is too small foundation double crochet or foundation stitches honestly so let's make a few more yarn over find the bottom of the last stitch you made here it is Ooh, it's getting tricky see there's the V I inserted my hook in the bottom of that last stitch yarn over pull through one you're creating the bottom of the next stitch so you have to yarn over pull through one again and now you make your double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you yarn over find the bottom of the of the last stitch here is that V and here is the double crochet coming out of it so you yarn over push into the bottom of that last stitch yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through one and then you pull through two pull through two and that is how you create a foundation of stitches you have to build them from the bottom up here is the bottom stitch and now I can create my double crochets So if you look, here is the sweater that I made for my son for Christmas. And here is the neckline. Now I already made it big because I know he needs it big. But it has got to retract and stretch so much and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the stretch you need for a neckline with your foundation foundation double crochets see how it stretches oops <laughs> see how it stretches so evenly that's really that's really what you want because when you're building a garment this is your outside edge and if you start with chains Honey, it's not going to stretch as much as you think it will. So, so starting with a foundation of stitches rather than starting with a chain, it's you're really going to see the benefit. So I hope, I hope that was informative. I hope you learned the stitch. And if you have any questions, let me know. It is difficult to kind of, you know, learn to do it a new way, but it, I have found that it's very beneficial. So that was foundation double crochets. And thank you so much. And I just hope you have a wonderful day.